Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to create EC2 instance in the AWS cloud and how to connect with that EC2 instance by using SSH client software. I'm going to show you how to connect with the machine by using four different softwares. One is Git Bash, second one is Mobile Extra, third one is WinSCP, fourth one is Putty. All right, let's get started. I logged in into my AWS cloud account and I am selecting here Mumbai region. So I'm going to select EC2 service here, then click on launch instance, which is used to create new machine. You can give any name for the machine. I'm giving the machine name as Linux VM and operating system. I'm selecting Amazon Linux and instance type T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. If you select a Hyderabad region, T3 micro instance will be available. Then key pair. In order to connect with this machine, I'm going to create a new key pair. The key pair name, I'm giving it as Ashok IT new key pair. Okay, you can give any name for that. So it is used to connect with that machine securely. So I'm downloading that as a PEM file. Click on create key pair. When you create it, the file will be downloaded. Then default VPC we are selecting here and allow the SSH traffic. By default storage for Linux machines, we are getting 8 GB. So with this configuration, I'm launching my EC2 instance. Once this machine is launched, you can go to the dashboard and you can see the instances which are in the running state. One machine currently in the running state. So if you select this machine, you can see the details like IP address of the machine, which is used to connect. Here also we have option called connect. So if you use this, click on connect button. Here it will show you the steps which are used to connect with the EC2 machine. So new key pair we have downloaded. So let me go to the location where the PEM file is available. The PEM file is available here. Let me copy this PEM file into my folder. So I have a folder called key pairs folder in that I kept my PEM file. Then here I'm opening my Git Bash software. Git Bash we can use as SSH client in order to connect with our EC2 instances. Now I open Git Bash and here you can see the process. Open SSH client, then locate the PEM file, right? Then execute this ch mode command to give read permission for the PEM file. Copy this ch mode command and execute from the location where the PEM file is available. So if you see, I opened Git Bash from the location where my PEM file is available. So I have executed that. Then after this, we need to connect it to the machine. This is the machine address, public IP, public DNS. So by using this SSH command, we can connect with that machine. Copy this SSH command and execute this command here. Okay, enter. So when you execute, it is asking, are you sure you want to connect? Yes, I want to connect. So with this, we are able to connect with our EC2 instance. Who am I? I connected to this machine as EC2 user. What is my present working directory? I'm pointing to EC2 user home directory. So like this, we can connect with our EC2 instance by using SSH client. So this is one option. Here, when you use Git Bash, you can perform only operations through CLI. Suppose if you want to upload the file from the Windows machine to this Linux machine, Directly that is not possible. So graphical user interface is not available. Everything you need to perform through commands. If you want to create the file, update the file, delete the file, download the file, everything you need to do through commands only because the Git Bash is supporting only command line operations. I want CLI plus GUI also when I connect with the Linux machine. Then exit from this Git Bash, then open one more software that is called Mobile Extra. I downloaded a mobile extra in my system. So let me open mobile extra. So mobile extra we are using as SSH client to connect with the Linux machine. Sir, what is the benefit? When you go for this mobile extra, it will provide you CLI as well as GUI also. Let us see, click on session. So I want to make SSH connection from my Windows machine to Linux machine. Remote host, what is the IP address of your machine? Let's go to the dashboard machine, which is running here. Now take this public IP. 
public IP address of the machine as a host. Select this username. The default username of this machine is EC2 user. If you click on connect, you can see the username of this machine, EC2 iPhone user. So let us provide the username, EC2 iPhone user. Advanced SSH settings, select the private key. So everybody should not be able to log in into our machine because we have key pair. So let us select this private key, go to the location where your PEM file is available. So my PEM file is available in the key pairs folder. I'm selecting that. Open, click on OK. So it is asking accept. Now, when I accept this, I'm able to connect with this EC2 machine by using mobile Xtrom. Who am I? I connected to this machine as EC2 user. What is my present working directory? Slash home slash EC2 user. So by using this mobile Xtrom, we can execute the commands. So this is Linux machine. Through CLI, we can perform the operation. Along with that, here it is giving the GUI also. So right click here, create an empty file here. I'm creating a file with a name called f1.txt by using GUI, mouse right click I'm using. Now execute ls command. Can you see the file is created in the Linux machine? So this is the advantage when you use mobile Xtrom software. It is providing CLI to perform the operations. I want to create a file by using CLI, touch command f2.txt, the file is created. Refresh here, you can see the f2 file is created. By using mouse right click also, I'm able to create the file, f3.txt. Okay, now you can execute ls command. You can see f3.txt. You can perform operations through CLI as well as through GUI also when you go for this mobile Xtrom software. But when you go for git bash, only CLI is available. In the mobile Xtrom, CLI plus GUI is also available. And similarly, there is one more software available, which is called WinSCP. By using WinSCP also, we can connect from the Windows machine to Linux machine. How to do that? So let me open WinSCP software. You can download all these softwares from the internet, guys. WinSCP software I'm using. So here, there is an option, new site, you want to make a connection. Okay, select a new site, enter the host name. Host name is nothing but IP address of the machine. So give the IP address of the machine. Port number 22. Linux machines works based on SSH protocol with the port number 22. So username and password. Username I know. EC2 iPhone user. Password I don't know. Why? Because PEM file is available. Password is not available. So let's go here. Let's go to the advanced here and select the SSH authentication with the private key. See here. So enter the username, password we don't know. We have PEM file. Click on this advanced button. Then it will open SSH authentication. Select the private key file. So select this and select the PEM file which is available here. Now I'm selecting the PEM file. Select all files here and select the PEM file. Click on open. Then OK. This is converting that file into PPK format guys. Okay, whatever the dot PEM is available, when we are going for this WinSCP, it is converting into the dot PPK format. Okay, fine. Click on OK, then click on Login. Yes, click on Accept. So with this, we are able to connect from our Windows machine to Linux machine. So if you see, the screen is divided into two parts. Okay, so left side part is available, right side part is available. So if you see here, the left side part which is representing my windows machine and the right side part which is representing linux machine so if you want to transfer the files from windows to linux and vice versa this WinSCP is going to be very very useful guys now i want to transfer one file from my windows machine to linux machine there is a jar file available i want to transfer that jar file to my linux machine simply drag and drop so I select, I'm selecting the jar file from my Windows machine. I'm dropping that in the Linux machine. So similarly, from the Linux machine, you can download the files to Windows machine by using this WinSCP software. So this is only GUI based software. You can't execute the commands in the WinSCP. You can't execute the commands in the WinSCP. So I copied jar file from my Windows machine to this Linux machine. Okay guys, so similarly, F3 file available, I want to download the file from Linux machine to Windows machine. 
just select drag and drop. The file is copied to the Windows machine here. This is my Windows machine part. The left side part is representing our Windows machine. The right side part is representing our Linux machine. Can we execute the commands here? No, not possible. It is a pure GUI software. Then we have one more software to connect from the Windows machine to Linux machine that is called Putty. So let me open the Putty software here. This is a pure CLI. This is a pure CLI. So you need to provide IP address of the machine. Okay, select this public IP address of the machine. Give that IP address, SSH authentication, we need to select the PEM file or the PPK file we need to select. Okay, guys. So here select the credentials. The private key is available. Private key file for the authentication. Okay, select the browse option. Go to the location where the PEM file is available. I'm having key pairs folder. PPK file is available. I select here. Click on open. So it is asking, are you sure you want to connect? Yes, I want to connect. How do you want to connect? Login as EC2 user. Yes. So I'm able to connect with this machine as a EC2 user. So if you want, you can select who am I and what is my present working directory. You can increase the font size also. Go to here, change settings, appearance. So font size you can change. Bold, some 20 I'm giving as apply. Now you can see who am I. My name is EC2 user. I connected to this machine as EC2 user. Then where I'm pointing, present working directory, slash home, slash EC2 user. Like this, you can connect to this Linux machine, which is created in the AWS by using EC2, by using these four options. Git bash, mobile extram, WinSCP, putty. Git bash, only CLI. Mobile extram, GUI plus CLI. WinSCP, only GUI. Putty, only CLI. So now tell me, which one is your favorite? Out of these four, if you want to connect from Windows machine to Linux machine, please comment your option on this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.